The White House proposes a dramatic <laughs> change to the food stamp system, and that would mean boxes Get down, of Trump. food could replace part of their benefits. Stick it to them. thousand people in our state receive help. Show these niggas you yeah, ain't playing with. They use a debit card to buy their food. That's what I'm talking President about. President wants to cut the money in half and give out Trump food boxes about instead. Destruction of Force Karen Morfitt looking into those changes for us, and Karen, Colorado's <laughs> largest food bank did weigh in Trump on the Trump been idea talking about you. them boxes he got for your ass. Yeah, Karen, while President Trump's about budget this director shit. says that this idea would actually like save tremendous amounts of money, there shit. are several food assistance groups here in Colorado that don't agree and have concerns about how it would all work. <laughs> Coloradans who rely on SNAP benefits, commonly this is referred funny to, to me, as food man. stamps, could be seeing some I'm enjoying changes. This. Currently, those this approved the for the program are given a benefit Tyrone card. And, uh, People can go to the grocery uh, store Melvin. and they can take that card and they can choose what they want to eat. <laughs> Under President Trump's 2019 budget proposal, a portion uh, of that got funding boxes will be waiting put for into pre-boxed food boxes, babe. instead. I don't want to steal somebody's Fucking all of his right, box. Blue Apron type program where you actually receive Come on the with food it, Mick. instead of re receive the cash. Mick Mulvaney, President Trump's budget Mick director, told CBS News clowns. those boxes would be filled with 100% American grown foods. It lowers the cost to us because we can buy he prices is, at wholesale man. where they, they whereas they oh, have to buy it at retail. It, Mick. They would be almost identical to those the government Tell already the provides to low income seniors. Fruit, two things of milk, four cans of green Nick's beans. Be Janie Genosis with Food Bank of the Rockies says they already pack and, and distribute more than 40,000 of those boxes a year. She questioned how money would be saved by expanding that type of program. It's a huge undertaking. Uh, <laughs> the people that are on SNAP, which more than 400,000 people in Colorado are on SNAP. How are you going to get that food to those people? <laughs> Now another People concern laughing. they raise is for families just that like have dietary laughing. or religious like the food restrictions laughing. and how they would be and their Tom ability Jake not to trouble. be able to pick the food that they need. We're live tonight in Denver, Niggas Karen learn Morfitt, the hard covering way. Colorado first. Good Interesting you. proposal, Karen. Thank you. Like I said, man, you niggas gonna learn the hard way, man. So in them boxes, they gonna have powdered sugar, powdered uh, powdered. Yeah, they gonna have powdered sugar, but they are gonna have powdered potted milk off in there for your frosted flakes that you love so much because here's the thing man when you when you when them people load up y'all niggas food stamp cards all y'all doing is going down there to walmart and loading up on fucking big boxes family size boxes of, of fucking frosted flakes oh uh, uh them little breakfast patties for them cheering in the morning pop tarts um Hawaiian, uh, uh, gallons of, of Hawaiian punch, the red one, the green one, the blue one, uh, hot Cheetos, Tampico, uh, 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 getting, uh, things, a uh, uh, poke chop so you can fry them damn things up, uh, fruit roll-ups, gushers, uh, chicken nuggets, cause we, we, we know you don't cook, the black woman does not cook, and, and french fries, and corn dogs, and, Hamburger helper and uh, and uh, 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 Zataran boxes, Zataran uh, dirty rice and and jambalaya boxes. You're buying a bunch of bullshit with them cars anyway. It's not like you're going to buy fruit and vegetables and salmon and steaks and stuff like that. You're eating a bunch of bullshit anyway. High blood pressure, you're fat, you're out of shape, churn look like shit. Eczema everywhere. Wonder why them churn uh, skin keep on breaking out. Churn got asthma and all kind of shit. Find the food that you be feeding these children, man. Anyway, let's get in the Bible. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 1. It says, Remember now thy creator, which is the most high, the Lord, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. And that's all I wanted to read with that, because we got some real evil times in the very near future, in the upcoming seconds. You so-called Negroes, very, very soon, you Latinos and Native Americans who are the Israelites of the Bible, you're going to be starving to death, because they're going to start rationing out this food. They're going to end up, this all, all this shit going to just lead to the microchip. This man going to show you who's in power. I'm talking about this white boy. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. But at the end, the elect of the Lord are going to overcome because we shall eat, we shall drink, and we shall overcome the elect, the prophets. And we're going to get risen up and get taken out of here by the Lord, Yahweh Shah. 
So with that, I say all praises to the God of the Bible, Yahweh, and the Son of the world called Jesus Christ, who we know in the ancient Hebrew as Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the men of Great Millstone. Fuck the rest of you clowns. Stolf. With that, I say Shalom.